going on adventurers tonight we are at brushy mountain prison we got patty from the g team here we got clay who is behind the camera right now thank you clay and we got kelsey from kelsey's paranormal and her husband josh so we are about to check out this place guys it's so creepy uh this is a maximum security prison that is no longer in operation you can come here for a tour uh during the day or if you're a paranormal investigator you can come here at night but you do have to make a reservation so it's really creepy we're already hearing things this way that was making crazy animal noises i'm not sure what it is but <laughs> freaking us out a little bit patty just saw something over there yes, so uh we might be a little bit crazy but we're ready to head in there and see what's going on and also guys just a little bit of information they also have a restaurant and a distillery on property here that you can also check out and i do believe they sell the moonshine mm -hmm. So, yeah, you might want to check that out. It sounds it out, eh? pretty awesome. Shiners out there. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the right place for it. All right, guys, so this is Brushy Mountain Prison. It was a maximum security prison, and back in the day, it was one of three, including Alcatraz and Leavenworth. So, that tells you how maximum it really was. Only ever had one successful escape here, and that was James Earl Ray. Prison keys up here. Yeah. Please sign in the door. <laughs> what does that door represent? Oh, yeah. She said they just took it off a chapel. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. They locked it. A chapel door? They turned the rankers off the phones down there because of the chaos. It's going to say, oh, it's a surprise here with this man. Right. Oh, there's the G team right there. Yeah. I see it real huge. Patty took a big spot. Patty, the G team paranormal. That's for all the time she came here, right? So, this is the warden's office with. They said they had evidence in this room locked up. It's a safe door in here. There comes Lisa. So this, this walk here, this is the walk where James R. Ray was last kept. Cell 28 was his. Um, Zoo Man was 27. Tracker was the last 29. And, um, the inmates that was kept here, I'll ask if we've caught the period dress coal miner. We have not, but a lot of the people that come in here with cameras that set up and try have got some really cool stuff off this walk. I don't believe that James already did the crime, but we have played Martin Luther King's speech down here. We have been hushed and told to be quiet and no, and you get responses out of it. Okay. Um, so, but now I will tell you, the King family came here and they started the process of getting um, him a, a trial. They didn't believe he did it. Really? Um, there's a whole list of stuff that they had that, and if you read the article, it, it's really mind boggling. Um, and that's actually why I think that he, uh, I think, I don't think he died of natural causes of his illnesses. I think they knocked him off because he was going to get that trial. Oh, yeah. He was going to get that trial. Mm -hmm. And they pulled him out of here, took him to Nashville, yeah. and boom, he's dead. You know, mm -hmm. and he always said this was his home. So we've gotten through our um, obelisks, um, some of our uh, spirit boxes. We get his name, clear as bell, James All right. When so, I sat in his cell that time, the uh, seat started moving underneath me. Yeah. Vibrating. I remember that. Remember that? Yes, I do. That was the last video I did here. The seat was just vibrating right under my butt. <laughs> That's now, crazy. This was, our, um, this was the, the uh, barber shop. Barber shop. So see these little cubby house here? Oh, wow. That goes into the room we just came out of where, where you all left your stuff. So at the end of the day, the inmates would have left. They would have handed their scissors and razors to oh, the, there into okay. the warden's office. Hmm. This is the barber shop, guys. Very cool. <laughs> Freezing, wouldn't it? This is the like window where Patty caught the shadow figure. Yeah. Was it last time you were here? Yes. Okay. Right through there. I saw that one. That was crazy. It, I mean, it looked like you were seeing almost the their waist or something. Like they were. So, you know, oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you honored? I mean, the shadow sticks up a little bit. So, yeah. 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 Yeah.
seen him play this. I've seen him play this day. And, and not only that, but look, I mean, she's producing. You can even see a shadow from her. Yes. And, uh, we, and I know it's mind boggling, but and it's hard to believe, but we had, um, we had over a quarter of a million men that came through here. Wow. So it's over 10,000. If, if you ask, did a rough, you know, guess, that it would have been one a week. Mm. Time that it was open. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because there was a lot like there's still 17 still in the coal mine out there. They had a crematorium here. You, you know, they, if you're burning bodies, you got a lot of dead. You know what I mean? So. That's uh, true. Yeah. And, and you know, here's the thing about this prison. This prison is different. It's going to be different than your Moundsville, your Mansfield. You need to prison you go to. This wasn't just a prison lot. Nashville would have been our Moundsville or our Mansfield. This was a work prison. This right here was formed for nothing more. They brought in and used these men as slaves. You wouldn't believe the money this generated for this state. It was wow. crazy. And they got free labor on these people. Mm. That's disgusting, so, especially if they weren't if they weren't guilty. Can you imagine? I mean, what if they didn't even commit the crime? I don't think so. Right. That's what I'm saying. But if they were innocent, though, these men wouldn't have been out. They would have fed them in their cells. They would have been in protected custody. Mm -hmm. So there was one that was in there. A warden said, "Let him out." They said, "You know, if we let him out." <laughs> Oh. He made him let him out before he got off the wall. He was dead. So wow. when you're coming by here from time to time, you feel like sometimes there's one running coming out at you. Um, he doesn't ever really tend to come past this door, but you can you can hear him, you can see it. You know, it's just like he charges. It's almost like it's residual. You know? Yeah. Um, but now we do get a lot of. Um, Voices, a lot of footsteps down this walk here. I think I found my alone spot. Um, first cell and third cell, those men died. Both of their names was James. Um, they're still being interact with, they're really active. Um, a lot of times you can get cigarette smoke here. This is where Omar called the cigarette smoke. Oh, that's right. We can light a cigarette and let them smoke something? You got to get activity on first before it'll actually smoke it, but it will happen. Now we do have one down here that is, um, he's gay and he likes to talk about it. He's really fun to interact with, one of my favorites to interact with. We always there. thought he was one of the Jameses. I'm not so sure because oh, there was man. one, he had a lover here for 15 years. They had a spat. No one can tell us what it was over, but they had fallen out, and his head was smashed flat down this wall. Oh. Oh. Wow. Another one that hit, um, he hung himself at the end, at the very end of this wall. He's a huge, huge shadow. He will black out wow. that whole yeah, wall. Like that whole wall. Yeah, the eggs will oh. out and everything. He's huge. Oh my God. Um, but they don't hear stuff down there all the time. Yeah. And this is where you caught the cell doors opening. This is the one I was wondering where it was. Okay, yeah, that's right. Wow. That's right. It's all coming yeah. back to me now. This <laughs> <laughs> here, this is, these are the only two cells we have left. You can see how they would have tied them to their bunks. So yeah. this was the hospital, guys. What about James Earl Ray's cell? Used to tie them to their too. bunks. It is. You can it is. see the uh, railings there. That. Usually when you're in here, if you're getting, his name's Johnny Baxter. He had his throat cut back here. He ran up in here, and the last thing he asked for was a cigarette. I just oh. saw something walk past that. You did? Yeah. We yeah, my camera blurred out, too. <laughs> I didn't now, like it was a full figure. Full figure just walked right past the door. He, uh, oh, but now Johnny, um, <laughs> if you're getting him, he's extremely active. And when you can light a cigarette in here, and usually it's smoked a Too lot good. of times, it's smoked better than out here at the cells. Really? And it's you'll, to try you'll, both. Yeah, and you'll be getting your K2 hits. When they're hitting it, you're, you're getting K2 hits. So, wow. Yeah. You can go all the way through to the back side of the hospital 
And when you get all the way to the very back, we do get a huge shadow figure back there. He had hung himself in a, in a bathroom. Okay, so if you look at our prison from the sky, it's in, sh in the shape of a cross. Right. Mm -hmm. So, But it, when you drive up to it, it's an upside down cross. Oh. And they did that on purpose to send a message to our men here that they were unworthy. Oh. One of the things we found That's here awful. also is that when they died, we found in our cemetery they have been they've been buried facing the west. Christians face the east. So even in death, they, the men here judged them. Oh wow. And very that's, that's harsh so that's another reason we think we have a lot of unsettled spirits well, yeah. yeah not only were their families not able to claim them yeah but so how many know, were we have ut they're going to come and scan this field we were told in the beginning three to four hundred it is oh. way more than that oh wow it's, Where? Out, here. it's, it's out here um just outside our gate we're actually right now we have an old old um guard that worked it and, and was actually he grew up there and um he's marking on back right now because <laughs> oh, he's got yeah. photos of it so he's using his photos to mark oh, the grave oh back. my god um but we we still like have you they're going to come because a lot of them are mass graves but a lot of them also are in the road going back there mm -hmm. it, it overflowed so bad that they started using another cemetery they took them elsewhere oh. yeah mm. yeah well, like I told you, we had a crematory here too. So, wow. yeah. Oh, that's um, insane to think how many. That is insane. Yeah. Here, yes. Now, this was also Native American uh, land. It was uh, oh Paleo God, Mississippi. Oh. It, we think that there's burials of them back here. You find so many artifacts in the back of this place back here. Really? And it, there's mounds. It kind of looks like mm -hmm. maybe there was burials of Indians. So there... it, UT has it marked as a dig site. <laughs> yeah, so this is D Block. This is why it was built for death row, but it was never used. This death okay. What this really done, this replaced the hole. So if they got into trouble or they were trouble, uh, they would put them in here. A, a okay. lot of them that were mental or that was hard to handle was put in here. Oh, wow. I've had guards come back that have told me um, about coming in and that they would be, um, the men in there, they wouldn't even talk, they said they would growl like, one said, if I've ever looked the devil in the face, I looked him in the face, and they're like uh, men hissing and growling. Mm. Like yeah. one, they couldn't even keep in there more than three or four days. They had to. He Can actually he bit on? an ear off of a guard, mm. and they oh couldn't put God. clothes on him. To give you an idea, but now when they beat him, the state came in and said no more beatings. No, they don't like him. Yeah, yeah, it's on this one. It just Mine shut off. It, we run it, it won't. Run it won't record. Lisa's when, trying to take a video. Yeah, she usually said, usually when you go back outside, oh, yeah. outside the prison, yeah. everything will work fine. Yeah, it was like yeah. Well, when you were speaking and they were up there, and it's blurry, like it's like yeah. blurring, and then it yeah. just goes off yeah. black back to the desktop. Like, it never does that. All right, I'm gonna do the paranormal prayer real quick for all of us. Okay. May we be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. Saint Michael, the Archangel. Defend us and be our protection against all evil and negativity on all levels. May the divine light of the archangels surround us with their love. We ask that all negative thought forms, lost souls, residues, elementals, and fragments be permanently healed and taken into the light. That all may be free that all may be freed according to the highest will of God. May we be purified and blessed upon every level of our being in the work that we do and be given more divine power and protection. Thy will be done. Thank you and amen. 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 I love that prayer. I have that prayer. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, All right. that Good luck, everybody. Yeah. So Good, luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us this evening on this spooky adventure. And we'll see you on our next Raptor, Raptor Adventure. adventure.